What happens when you have a late delivery in Euro Truck Simulator 2? Hello, Hogzilla here again, and in today's video I'm going to cover a topic that some people might have experienced and some might not have. Exceeding the expected delivery time creating a late delivery. What happens? What does this do to your delivery? And how bad does this hurt the bottom line? Hopefully this video will help. Before we get started, just a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button with the bell to be notified of all my upcoming videos. If you like these kind of videos, press that like button. And if you have any thoughts on late deliveries, please leave a comment below. The first thing we need to establish, what is a late delivery? A late delivery is when you complete your delivery after the expected date and time listed on your cargo information screen. This does not mean you automatically get zero money and zero experience points if you are one minute late, but a slow drawdown for each minute late. So how much do you lose per minute in money or experience points if you are late? Well, it depends is the answer. To test this, what I did is take a delivery right up to the expected delivery time, make a save file, then just keep delivering, reloading, and going ahead another minute for the first 15 minutes. Record the money lost and the experience points lost for each minute and compare it to the previous minute and keep track that way. After the first 15 minutes, then I only recorded the values every 15 in-game minutes. To find out how much money and experience points you lose, you need to establish what type of delivery you are completing between normal, important, or urgent. If you are making a normal delivery, you can deliver up to 2,880 minutes after the expected delivery time, or 48 hours. For important jobs, it is 720 minutes after the expected delivery time, or 12 hours. And for more urgent deliveries, you need to have completed it no later than 240 minutes after the expected delivery time, or 4 hours. Any delivery after these thresholds will get you zero dollars and zero experience points. So with this information, we will use the example of a delivery job for 250000 we will say that you are one minute late. So you take one minute divided by each job type, then divided by the total money that you were expecting for the job. And you get the following values of 86 for normal job, 347 for important jobs, and 1041 for urgent jobs, just for being one minute late. For being 60 minutes or one hour late, you can take a major hit, especially for urgent jobs, as this would cost you 62500 Once you've reached each minute level, you will get zero money for the delivery. The same holds true for experience points. Let's say you have a job that's going to get you 7,000 experience points and you are one minute late. So just like before, you take one minute divided by each job type, then divide by the total number of possible experience points to get a value of two for normal, nine for important, and 29 for urgent. Keep in mind any decimal values always round down. Like before, once you have reached each minute level, you will get zero experience points for the delivery. That is all I really have to say on the subject of late deliveries today. 
In all reality, you should really try to avoid late deliveries at all costs, but hopefully this video will help clear up what late deliveries mean to your bottom line and to your experience points. If you like this video, press that like button. If you have your own thoughts or if I've made a mistake, please leave a comment below and please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.